Alright guys, next Monday's Halloween, and now we need to go watch some movies and get ourselves in the mood. So on this episode of Whenever Wednesdays, here's five movies that you guys need to go see to get you in the mood for the Hallows of Ween. Alright guys, so uh, five Halloween movies to watch. So here we go. See you next week. Alright guys, I'm just kidding. Those movies are for me, I actually haven't seen any of them. That's why I bought the movie pack, so that's what I'm going to be watching this week. But I'm going to name some five movies that I have seen and I think that you guys will enjoy. Now the first movie uh, is called The Others. The Others came out in 2001 and actually my buddy Weston, he suggested this movie to me and you know Weston if you've seen our our, our little sketch about me absolutely failing at giving a speech, he's in that one. But what The Others is about, it's about this family, it's a mom and two kids who live out in like the middle of nowhere England, like outside London maybe, I don't know, middle of nowhere, but um, it's at, right after World War II I believe, might be World War I. One of the World Wars, they're living and they're waiting for their dad to come back, the husband to come back, but the mom thinks he's dead at, you know, KIA, you know, he's missing. And uh, these three um, helpers, you know, yard work, let me cook you dinner helpers, come and uh, get a job at their house to help around. And, uh, you know, right away there's something up with them. And it's this really cool kind of narrative, kind of, where the two children are like allergic to the sun. So they can't be in a room with like open windows. So all the windows are closed and like you have to like open a door and then close it and then lock it. And it's, it's really cool and there's some awesome twists and turns and throughout the movie. So that's my first suggestion is go watch that one, The Others. The second movie I have to offer you guys is called The Orphanage or in its own title, El Orfanato. Uh, the Orphanage came out in 2007, it's actually a movie from Spain, so if you actually do see it, you're going to have to watch it with subtitles. But don't let that discourage you, it's a great movie. What it's about is this woman and her husband and their son that they have adopted go back to this orphanage where she grew up and she buys it and is hoping to re rejuvenate it and to start the orphanage up again because she has this connection to it, you know, she feels like she needs to give back to something that helped her. And it's really cool because some stuff goes down with their son and it's this twists and turns for them to go find them with this crazy lady who keeps showing up every once in a while. And it's really good. Don't let the that it being in Spanish fool you or scare you away from seeing this movie because it's really good. It's got some really good scares in it. So if you're in the scary type of mood, I'd suggest that one. And you know, the subtitles help because, you know, it like draws you into it. You know, you can't be hiding in your phone because you're going to miss it, so I suggest that one. The next movie I have for you guys is called It Follows. It Follows, you know, came out in 2014, but I don't think it actually made it to theaters until 2015, but It Follows is a really cool horror movie. What It Follows is, is it starts off with this girl, and she goes on a date with a guy, and, you know, they end up, you know, doing the nasty, and then he kind of knocks her out and then takes her to this, like, weird abandoned building. And he starts explaining to her, like, hey, just to let you know, I just gave you this, like, ghost demon thing, and it's going to follow you wherever you go, and if it catches up to you, it's going to kill you. And uh, he pretty much brings her to that building to, like, show her it, you know? So she, like, knows it's real. And it's this really cool mechanic because it can shapeshift into different people, and so you never know who's it. And it always walks at you, it never runs, it doesn't, you know, catch a cab, it always walks towards you. So it's this really cool story about how her and her friends are trying to deal with this as it keeps following them all around, and it's really good. I mean, there are scares in it, it's a, you know, a horror movie, but it does this really cool mechanic where it's not like jump scare after jump scare after jump scare, it's some, in some shots you can see it in the background walking straight towards the characters, but none of the characters realize you know, the music doesn't, you know, like a jump scare cue, nothing, you know, it walks towards them, you know, they're doing their business, they hop in the car, they drive away. It was there walking right at them, but 
the only person who knows is you, the viewer, and it does a lot of shots like that, and it's really, really cool. So I also suggest you go that one, and I mean, I guess I should warn there's some nudity in it, but I mean, not really, so go watch It Follows. The next movie I got for you is called Hide and Seek. Now, Hide and Seek came out in 2005. It actually stars uh, Robert De Niro and a young Dakota Fanning. And this movie is more for you guys who aren't in the, like, scary mood. I know a lot of people who don't like to watch scary movies because it just messes with them. So this movie isn't very scary. This movie's more of a mystery, but it does have some, some horror elements. So I decided to include this movie on the list. So what this movie is about is the, a dad and his daughter grieving over their recently dead mom-wife character. And so the dad's a psychiatrist, so his great idea is to take his daughter out into the middle of nowhere and raise her out there so it's a new, a new scenery and things for her. So he, he ships them out to the middle of nowhere and so it's them dealing with the new uh, you know, environment around them and also the daughter gets like an imaginary friend and it's like really cool. The imaginary friend's name is Charlie and Charlie's doing some crazy stuff to the dad, you know, and it's like explained that the daughter and Charlie have this whole plan to ruin the dad's happiness as he's, you know, trying to move on and it's another, another great twist towards the end of that one. So. Go watch that one too. Really good, I, I think. So the last movie on this list, guys, that I'm gonna suggest to you is The Ringing. The Ringing. No! No self plugs! Bad! No self plugs! Bad boy! Bad! I mean, that, that was my last movie. Um, I don't know what else to do then. Guys, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and suggest to you, you know, Tucker and Dale versus Evil. I mean, this isn't, I mean, this is like a horror movie, but I mean, it turns it on its head and it's not scary. It's about Tucker. It's played by, oh, I don't even know. This movie is, is, is it's, a, it's a comedy horror and it's not very scary. It has Alan Tudyk in it, so if you've seen any of the recent Disney movies, he's in it. Um, but it's about these two guys who go out into the cabin at the woods and these, these college kids that go out up there to the same lake to party start accidentally killing themselves around these two and the rest of the guys think that the two at Tucker and Dale are killing them off so they think they're serial killers. It's really funny. So I guess that'll be my last movie. See you guys next week.